Has anyone got a problem with my double denim today? <laughs> Mate, if it's alright for the Fonz, it's alright for you. <laughs> At the end of South End Pier, we've got a menu bursting with amazing weekend feasts. And we're boldly going where no cat has gone before. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sir Patrick Stewart! <laughs> Welcome. Jamie, Good to see Jamie. you. Jamie, we are so excited to have you here. Welcome to South End. I've <laughs> never been to South End before. I've never been in a cooking show. What? It's a yeah! No, no, this oh, will be the moment for you to recast. This is perfect. <laughs> um, a cup you. of tea? A black coffee. Coming our way. So, one of our greatest actors, one of our greatest exports... I have <laughs> never been called an export before. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's how I shall consider myself from now on. But obviously, one of the things that really stands out for me, growing up as well, Star Trek. So, did you think Star Trek would be that big? Somebody said to me, come to Hollywood, make some money for the first time in your life, yeah. which was true. Yeah. Get a suntan, <laughs> maybe meet some girls, go home. <laughs> it didn't quite work out like that. We did seven seasons, wow. 178 episodes. Incredible. But we're coming back. New Star Trek. Um, it's not going to be next generation. It's 20 years in the future, further into the future than Star Trek actually has ever gone. Right. And have you had a fitting for your new outfit? Can you give us clues? Is it stretchy? It's been minimalised, the space suit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, sure. it sounds like a lot of cling films being used. <laughs> <laughs> Only on a Friday night. <laughs> so, was it a natural progression from classically trained actor, the Royal Shakespeare Company, to something in sci-fi? all science fiction. The language is not totally naturalistic. Yeah. There's a certain heightened quality yeah. about it, which is Shakespeare. Yeah. So I think that's why all of us fitted in so... Ian into Gandalf and, uh, right. and all those other guys into their roles. You're a Yorkshireman through and through then, aren't you? Born and bred, but your Yorkshire accent has disappeared. I don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> like. <laughs> bloody hell, I've talked like this all my bloody life, haven't I? <laughs> Sir Patrick. Can you cook? No. OK. <laughs> I make toast. Really good toast. Now, I love eating. You That's see. good. And your wife is a great cook. Where did we meet, Sonny? At the restaurant I was working at. I wasn't cooking, though. I was front of house. Sonny, today's a good day because what he doesn't know is that you'll be serving, so... Very good. Today, everyone, Patrick oh. is your waiter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well... I, and you can give him a tip if you want. Yes, indeed, you can. What kind of cuisine do you love? I was brought up on my mother's Yorkshire pudding, which was stupendous. But the conditions in which she had to cook were primitive. We lived in what was known locally as a one-up, one-down. Sonny loves to talk about my Victorian childhood. <laughs> Truly, I, I mean, it didn't have hot running water, you know. No, nope. Took one bath a week. And that one bath a week, has that average improved over the years? <laughs> Because, you know, you're coming into a food preparation area here. Yeah. You know, like we'll have to have a little yeah. sniff up. <laughs> so what kind of food were you eating? Um, tripe. That no. old British delicacy, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it looked so disgusting on the plate, especially with that frilly part of it up on the top. Yeah. But once every two or three months, my mother would make a special trip to the butchers and she would come back with a sheep's head. And she boiled the they whole head with my mother went into the pot yeah. and was served up to my dad on a plate. I mean, you know, the face looking at him. I mean, the great news for you guys today is we've got sheep's head. How are you doing, boys? All right? Yeah, good. Really good. Is this your first time to South End? No, we've, we've been to South End a few times. We've actually, back in our pop star days, we played the Cliffs Pavilion, which is just along there, Did I think, you? isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen anybody at the Cliffs Pavilion? No. 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 <laughs> you could have seen PG and Dublin back in the day. <laughs> you guys have worked with each other, yep. been mates, what, for 30 years? 30 years yeah. now, yeah. I mean, we've, we've known each other for 40, but we've never worked with each other for that length of time. It's great. It's work with your best friend. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pressure's off when there's two of you as yes, well, isn't it? Because absolutely. you're doing it with your best mate, you're having a laugh. Ultimately, you're going to have a good day at work. Yeah. It all kind of happened by accident as well. You know, we were in Biker Grove together, yeah. and, and our character we didn't know each other, and our characters became best friends. So, invariably, we were on set together all of the time, and in between takes, we just try and make each other laugh. And we just clicked, and we got yeah. on as, as pals, and the characters in the show got really popular. 
so we got invited to do TV shows and like live and kicking and Saturday morning stuff together. So that's when I first met you boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both grew up in Newcastle. What was the food like growing up? Good British foods, you know, shepherd's pies, roasts, yeah. wholesome. Um, wholesome foods, really. My mum worked as well, so I mean, I would kind of, I'd be at home on my own with my sister, so I'd cook for her. Yeah. And you'd learn quite quickly. I'm the youngest of seven. Three brothers, three sisters. That, I mean, that's incredible uh, effort from mum and dad there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think they had a TV for yeah, a while. <laughs> there wasn't anything else to do in the evenings. But you couldn't cook. And was that because you There's were the no baby of the family? Cook, I, I, ne I never had the need to. There was always somebody there to do it. What do you mean? You can't cook a thing? Oh, no, I can cook. OK. I can cook a bit. Um, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good with your books and stuff. I get, I get me a little so Jamie a book out. So a recipe out, out and recipe out. Fine. I follow yeah, a recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't ask me to riff anything in the kitchen. Yeah. That's bad no. news. He doesn't know, when we first started living together, because we shared a flat in London when we first, when we were um, doing the music, and you, you really didn't have a clue, did you? Not a clue. He rang me once to say, what do I do with these baked beans? Genuinely, right? He thought you had to cook a baked bean, like leave it in the oven for like four hours, a gas mark, whatever. <laughs> so have you two ever cooked together? Nah. In yeah, tandem? Kind of, well... We lived together, I've so... watched him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I helped. He passed okay. me stuff. I wash up. <laughs> so you guys, top presenters, obviously. I help. Actors. Yeah, we started off as actors, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. But also pop stars. <laughs> yeah. In the loosest possible <laughs> term. No. No, we were for a while, yeah, we were. You yeah. had a number one, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 19 yeah. years after we released it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we released Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Well, yes. Went at number nine in the charts. Then we did it for a joke on Saturday Night Takeaway. It went at number one. It was we brilliant. used to dance to it. I mean, we... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're admitting that yeah, on yes. the telly. But we had, we had three albums, we toured the world. We went all around Germany, we had hits. Like Singapore, in yeah. Singapore, yeah. Indonesia, Japan. Yeah. What about the food? You must have made some incredible food. You we didn't, didn't try, eat a bite we, of we it. We didn't try any of it. All the sushi, all the sashimi, nothing. We were like... And sort of we adventurous. Like, sort we were just adventurous. scared of it. You thought it was like an early version of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was our bush took a trial. Yeah. So we were, where did you eat then? We were staying at this hotel and we'd yeah. get the concierge to write, take me to KFC, McDonald's, whatever. <laughs> and write it in Japanese, and then on the back of it, right, take me back to the hotel, and we'd hand it to a taxi driver, they'd read it, show them, take, us, take us, to wait for us, eat. and then we'd come back. <laughs> show I them mean, the hotel terrible. and they'd take and us that back. Was it. But now I love Japanese food. That oh. is one of the few regrets we've got of our career, is that we didn't enjoy the cuisine. Here's the thing, here's the challenge. Here we go. In Here this we show, yes. we go back to a moment in time. Yeah. And what we did do is go back to the same hotel you stayed in. The new Otani. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we went there, we spoke to them. Funny enough, the concierge is still there that wow. was there when you were there. There she is. So the concierge. This is Miss Kojima. Right. It's very possible that it was her that wrote that on the back oh of one of your God, pieces of paper. Oh, my God, that's brilliant. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's so nice in here. Can I give you a drink? I'd love a drink. A little bubbles, Just maybe? Just a little... Glass of bubbles. Prosecco? Yes. Yeah, I'd love one. Here you are in Essex, on our, in our little cafe. Yeah. But you are Hollywood hot property at the moment, aren't you? Definitely. Yes, you are. Am I? <laughs> yes, you <laughs> are. And that, so, you are. how old are you now? Uh, 25. So, yeah. you got nominated for an Oscar at 13? Yeah. For atonement? Yeah, it was... How was your drama teacher at school about that? I didn't have a drama teacher. <laughs> Even worse! <laughs> so they were all like, hold on a minute. No, I remember I went to one... I went to, like, one stage school class and it just wasn't for me at all because I didn't want to do, like, the musical theatre stuff. So I don't think I had, like, a big enough personality to to do that. So, yeah, but my dad is an actor as well and he was doing a short film when I was, like, seven and they just needed a kid for it. Did you just absorb the sort of structure of filming, scripts? Did you just take it all in then? Yeah, I think so. I think, like, going to visit him on set meant by the time I did it, it just felt, like, very sort of natural. You were comfortable yeah. with it? Yeah. yeah, I like the chaos of it. Your latest film, Little Women. Yeah. It looks like you had loads of fun on that. I did, yeah, because I was just surrounded by other little women. Yeah. <laughs> just little women everywhere. Yeah, we had an amazing time. We shot it in sort of just outside Boston and we were there for like four months. An incredible actors and actresses. Meryl Streep as well. Yeah. Have you heard of her? Oh, just a bit. She's, I think she's going to be really big. <laughs> <laughs> I think she might be on this show next year if she plays her cards right. Exactly. Um, how, yeah. was it, how was it, you know, being with Meryl? 
it was so like surreal getting to work with her but we got this one scene together where we're both sort of like at each other and they're really the two of them really sort of butt heads their characters so we were just able to have like loads of fun with it and then when they said that they were gonna move on it just sort of hit me that I had gotten to do this scene with like a hero you know so I just went up to her and I was like thank you for letting me act with you and she was like it's fine you've done so many incredible roles so far. I mean, you've had Oscar nominations, right? Yeah. The films that I got nominated for, I love them yeah. so much. And I had such a great time on all of them. And I think I can really pinpoint a change in myself, like, as an actor and, and as a person when I came out of them. But I do think it's something that you have to try and just, like, have fun with yeah. as much as possible. So don't that get too attached to the I don't think you should get too wrapped no. up in it now. Do you know what? I'd love to be an actor. Just to play all part. Oh, my <laughs> God. So I'd, I look at the work you've done and it's like, oh, you could be anything you want. You could turn accents on and off. If not. You're, you're an expert yeah, yeah. straight on. But also, <laughs> but didn't you have to do some impression of Shrek to win a holiday? I didn't do it of Shrek. I did it of um, the gingerbread man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, um, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I know the one you mean. Oh, no. You're a monster. <laughs> what are we going to cook today, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> so you do something like that, and then there you are doing, you know, Mary Queen of Scots. <laughs> OK, so, we want to find out a bit more about you. OK. <laughs> Ding that one, I did. So here we go. OK, what do you miss most about Ireland when you're away filming? I miss my dog, Fran. Oh. She's very cute. She's basically me in dog form. She's like blonde and she's got <laughs> messy hair and she's a bit like mad looking. Now, what is the hardest accent to master? The hardest accent for me to do is like a very posh English accent. The really, really posh ones are great, like the ones they do in The Queen, because it's very, it's sort of clipped like that. Yeah. But if you're doing just like an RP accent, yeah. it has to be very sort of brought back. There's not much melody no. in an RP accent. <laughs> Have you done an RP accent? Yeah, absolutely. No, <laughs> you're right. Can you do an Essex accent? Essex is like... Yeah! yeah.